Hello folks and welcome into another video. Today I'm going to be talking about what's inside this box. So let's go. Right, so what have we got? Let's open it up. As you can see, I've already opened it up, but just for video purposes, I shall reopen it. And inside, we have something called a ZX box. Essentially, this ZX box is just a Raspberry Pi. A Raspberry Pi Zero, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I did buy this on eBay. £42. They come all the way from Romania. It was actually quite quick, to be honest with you. Um, you're probably wondering, like, you know, you could have done this for such and such a price and this and that and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know. But... I've had two ZX Spectrums which I purchased in the last month or so and two of them have been utter dog shite. So I just fancied going back to my childhood as the ZX Spectrum was something I got before becoming a Amiga fanboy. So I just want to relive that moment again and I don't really care if I pay £50, £60 pound for it. Right, so what have we got? Instructions. Connect the mini HDMI cable to the HDMI and ZX box to the TV. Connect the OTG cable to ZX box and to the keyboard. Connect the power cord to the ZX box and to the power adapter and then put into the outlet. Turn on the TV and select the source HDMI where the ZX box is connected. After that, approximately wait 30 seconds for basic to load. To access the menu of the emulator, press F1. Hint, to make games load much faster, Access the menu of the emulator with F1, select options, media, and there check the boxes using space, fast loading, and accelerate loaders. After that, hit enter. Game over. So, in the box, we have a plug, which I'm not going to use. HDMI to mini HDMI. OTG keyboard connector. The power supply I've actually um, left in the TV. And here's the unit itself. The ZX Box Spectrum Emulator Machine. Now, like I say, you know, it is what it is. It's a Raspberry Pi. I'm not too up on the Raspberry Pis. And I just know the, you know, you can put emulators on them and stuff like that. They are quite, quite good machines. This one, Raspberry Pi Zero. If anyone knows anything about Raspberry Pis, you'll know exactly what this is, so it's pointless me explaining. I got it basically just for nostalgic purposes. I am an Amiga fanboy, and this room I'm currently in is full of Amiga stuff, as people who know me know. Um, I haven't got space, to be honest with you, for a Spectrum, so an emulator was the next best thing. I'm not too bothered. I really, I'm, I'm really not bothered about playing it on original hardware. I, I just want to relive those memories from when I was a kid, because the ZX Spectrum was the first 8-bit computer I got actually before I moved up onto the 16-bit um, era, Atari ST and then obviously Amiga, and I've been an uh, Amiga fanboy ever since. So yeah, that basically that's all it is. Your HDMI, you've got your power, and you've got your keyboard adapter, and that's it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to connect it to my capture card, and we're going to take a look inside. I believe it's an emulator called Fuse, which I have tried in the past on my laptop, and I give up with it because I couldn't run it at full screen, and I, I kind of like to have it full screen and that, so. And also, I got this for capturing some game footage. I am a big Rocky Horror Show fan, and Rocky Horror Show fan is on this, along with you know pretty much every game that was ever out for the Spectrum and stuff, stuff so yeah. It's, it'd be good just to get that captured and played and just so I can look back on it. Right, we're all set up. I had a slight issue getting it to run with that. It seems to only output at 60 hertz and the AV Media can only really handle 50 hertz. So I had to pop it into a HD converter, a cheap converter I bought from China, which is now giving me a good picture. Currently sat next to me Raspberry Pi 4. Nice little case I got as well for that one. Obviously, I don't need to tell you what that is. Just pure Amiga emulation. There's the ZX box sat next to it. 
is the mighty 1200 right here we go what was it f1 f1 right main menu file enter open also oh, should assume that means oh yeah there's all the games there a to z right so how do you get out of this um no let's see what can we do here all right all right um right options general emulator speed frame rate well uh, right I, to be honest with you i don't even know what half of this means so we'll have to sit down properly and, and go through it all machine reset let's reset it right so back to basic D -d -d -d. machine select debugger so you can select 48k 16k 48k ntsc spectrum one to eight and plus two spectrum plus two a plus three timex pentagon scorpion spectrum se so we'll just have what it was on 48k media tape open there you go um what else we got here I don't know what these games are so we have chase nope not enough one there all right let's go file open and let's go to let's see 3d tank deal ah so you just click on it and it automatically opens up i'll tell you what we'll do we'll reset that reset yeah um let me see let's get a game on the go uh, open oh my god we're doing something wrong here we're doing something wrong right let's start again general no. machine reset reset right file Oh, well then, let's go to uh, exactly use no and uh, media tape open I did something wrong here options media right, so it's all media file open why can't I go? ah that's why I forgot there was a little thing there um, let's try a rocky horror show plenty of games here to choose from right Nope, that doesn't want to work. Let's try another one. There's four different ones here anyway. Let's try that one. Nope. Right, we're going to give Rocky our show another whale. So I'm assuming it just loads just as as what the spectrum would. With all the raster lines and stuff like that. Right, well I'll let that load up and I'll um, I'll come back in a minute. Oh you can't beat that loading screen. Wow. Sit here all day and just listen to that. Oh, yeah. 
takes me back there. We've arrived on a rather special night. There's a light over at the Frankenstein maze. There's a light I can't fucking sink. I think I'll go a Brad. I go beef a Brad. Keyboard. Can I read the fine keys? No, it's going to be the usual, isn't it? Um, let's have a look. What have we got here? They're going to do move. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. So essentially I think what you've got to do is collect all these pieces and put them onto the um, wall or the, the curtain. Yeah, you put them in here. And then basically... Yeah, I made up with that. I'm well happy. Well happy. Cheers for watching, guys. I'll put a link in the description from where I bought it if anyone's interested. So, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.